Last year, Google released a beginner cybersecurity training that's targeted at someone with zero technical background or even any degree, which was a game changer. But the exciting news is they've just introduced a new update to the training with a new section called AI in cybersecurity. The update is designed to teach you how to use generative AI as a cybersecurity professional, which I will go over in detail shortly. It's a great skill to have especially when you're asked about AI in a cybersecurity interview. This way you can answer with confidence. But before I get into the update, for those who don't know, the Google cybersecurity training was a game changer because it solved a huge problem that we had, which was foundation. All the cybersecurity training courses expected individuals to do some basic IT and networking training as a prerequisite. Whereas the Google cybersecurity training includes modules that cover that foundation for you. So it has modules covering IT, networking, operating systems, and everything that you need to learn cybersecurity as a beginner. Therefore, you no longer need to do things like CompTIA A+, or Network+, Plus, which is great because this just saved you at least a thousand US dollars and possibly one year of your life. I've recommended the cybersecurity training in my videos as part of various roadmaps that can take someone from zero all the way to landing their first cybersecurity job, which has resulted in individuals from all over the world landing their first cybersecurity job as a result of following recommendations in my videos. I post these success stories every single week. But the real question is, if the Google Cyber Cert was so good, what is it that they added to make it even better? Let's have a look. So they added a new section called AI in Cybersecurity, which you can find at the very end of the Google Cybersecurity training. I personally found it helpful because it gave me some ideas to leverage AI for some of the cybersecurity tasks that I personally do. And what I really liked about this update is that that it's really beginner friendly. So the Google Cyber Cert stay true to its core of being a truly entry-level beginner cybersecurity training. Now, if we look at this module, it starts off with an introduction to AI in cybersecurity and how to use generative AI to work smarter and faster. Just a note on generative AI, the knowledge will apply to any AI platform. So Google have their own Google Gemini, but you can use this knowledge to use ChatGPT or any other AI that you choose to use, which is really great. Then they go over boosting your cybersecurity skills with AI, cybersecurity frameworks with AI, and how to identify bugs and refine code with AI. Some of these concepts you will use as a beginner, but some you can use later on down the line as you get more and more advanced. Then you will learn about system vulnerabilities with AI and how to prioritize alerts with AI, which is absolutely essential for anyone who works in a security operation center. And finally, there is a practical assessment. And at the end of the module, they introduce you to another course by Google, called the Google AI Essential. This is its own standalone course and certification independent of the Google Cybersecurity Cert. This is for you if you want to do a deeper dive into AI. It's a really nice, short and succinct course that I recommend you have a look at. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Now, if you've already finished the Google Cybersecurity Cert, you don't actually have to repeat the entire training. Instead, you can just skip through to this final part and go over the AI in Cybersecurity module if you really want to. Or if I were you, I would just do the Google AI Essential training. It will just give you a broader understanding of the basics of AI. But the question is, what if you haven't done the Google Cybersecurity Cert? Should you spend the time and do the Google Cybersecurity Cert? Well, if you're not familiar with it, the program itself was designed to target individuals who have zero technical skills, meaning they've never worked in IT and they don't have any degree or any training but it was still suitable for individuals who have some experience in IT or even cybersecurity but they wanted a broad introduction to cybersecurity. The training itself was designed and presented by Google employees and I found it particularly engaging and interesting and they really present the topics in an easy to understand and digestible manner. This is really, really important because I've met so many beginners who try to learn cybersecurity. They go on to do some of these CompTIA training and some of these online courses that are not really well designed. 
So they get really bored and distracted, so they end up spending so much time and they get nowhere. Whereas if they start with the Google Cybersecurity Cert, it keeps them interested, it keeps them learning, and there is a much higher success rate and finish rate for the Google Cybersecurity Cert. It will give you all the foundational skills that you need, so you will learn networking, IT, and operating systems, and so many more topics that are not traditionally covered in entry-level cybersecurity training. But the true strength of the Google Cyber security cert was the fact that they included hands-on practical labs so you get to practice what you learned in a lab environment they have got labs covering linux mysql and python this is essential because cybersecurity is a practical field you cannot learn swimming by reading a book and doing multiple choice exams. Therefore, the best way to learn cybersecurity is by doing hands-on practical labs and training courses. So the fact that you get to do hands-on training early on in your learning journey is a big deal because it will give you that confidence that you will need in order to continue in your learning journey all the way to landing your first cybersecurity job. But someone might ask, what if I already have the CompTIA Security Plus? Or perhaps I've been working in a security operation center for one month or six months. Should I still do the Google Cybersecurity Cert? In my opinion, yes, absolutely, it's worth doing. You can access the training for free for the first seven days, and I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. This way you can browse through and you can have a look at the training before you sign up. Now, I interview cybersecurity candidates literally every single week, and some candidates have good understanding of one or two areas. For example, they may have some strength in being a security operation center analyst or even penetration testing which is really fine and important. However, as soon as I ask them any broad cybersecurity questions or general cybersecurity questions about things like data protection, asset management, cybersecurity framework, all of that knowledge goes out of the window. Therefore, I still think there is value in doing the Google Cybersecurity Cert because they go over some of these concepts as an introduction. So they will teach you a little bit about the OASP Top 10, the NIST Cybersecurity Framework, and some of these concepts that I mentioned earlier. Now, if you actually want a deeper dive into these concepts, they fall under the umbrella of what we collectively refer to as Governance, Risk and Compliance, which we abbreviate as GRC. I have designed a program called GRC Mastery that covers all of these topics that you can do after you do the Google Cybersecurity Cert. I've discussed it in this video in detail, so please have a look at it. But more importantly, once you finish the Google Cybersecurity Cert, you get a 30% discount to do the CompTIA Security Plus, which can be a really good boost to your resume, especially as someone who's trying to land their first cybersecurity job. So it will give you that competitive advantage. Now, if you decided to do the Google Cybersecurity Cert, there is an important question that I get asked all the time, which is, is the Google Cybersecurity Cert enough? This question is really common, however, it's really problematic. Because when someone asks me this question, what they're really wanting to know is that, do they get a guaranteed job after they finish the Google Cybersecurity Cert? Now, if we stop and think about this question for a minute, what the person is really asking is, can I pay 50 bucks or a few hundred bucks and have a guaranteed cybersecurity job that pays me thousands of dollars every month. I wish that was true, but this is not how landing a cybersecurity job or any professional job really works. Instead, what we do is we do training, we do practical hands-on lab, and we improve our resume, and we apply to various jobs. And as we apply, we will get some rejections, perhaps we get an invited to an interview, and so on and so forth, until we land our first cybersecurity job. Now, some individuals will will land a cybersecurity job even before they do the Google Cybersecurity Cert. I've seen it happen, whilst I've also seen others who've landed a cybersecurity job after they finished the Google Cybersecurity Cert. Here's one person who watched my videos and did just that. And there are countless more. However, this is not a guarantee for a cybersecurity job. There is no training in the world that will guarantee you a job. The universe doesn't work that way. But the closest thing that you can get to have a guaranteed job at, at the end is to have a structured progressive learning plan where you start with the basics and then you build out your skills and learn more and more advanced skills. Therefore, you will have 
a much better resume and you will significantly improve your chances of landing a cybersecurity job, which means you continue to learn until you land your first cybersecurity job. Now, if you want to follow a structured step-by-step -step plan that will progressively build out your skills until you land your first cybersecurity job, then I've got you covered. I've summarized it all in this video. Please check it out, follow the plan, and I'll see you there.